We've had a really positive start to the term with all our students focused on their studies, but particularly our year 11 and 12 students who are focused on those VCE SACs and preparing for the practice exams to come in the September holiday break. We've also completed a really successful season of winter sport. Our girls are into the Herald Sun Shield Grand Final at both the senior and intermediate level. And we're just so proud of those senior girls who won their Grand Final on Friday. Our boys are into the Herald Sun Shield Cup and we look forward to supporting them in every success. I'm standing in the now completed John Ross Perrier Water Sports Centre or Rowing Shed Mezzanine which is a fabulous facility for our now more than 160 rowers. We've been busy with our Capital Works projects with more rooms in Dart Boarding House completed, a room in Queen's added as an additional learning facility, the dreaded Queen's bathrooms refurbished and the junior school reception about to start on September 1. But in this rowing shed, I think we may inadvertently have created Ballarat's number one party venue that unfortunately isn't available for booking. Well, every day in the seed is an exciting day, but particularly so recently, we've had our year fives mentoring our giraffes and pretty soon, our giraffes will get to go up to those Year 5 classrooms. Our SEED students have also been working in the Bush Kinder area with our operations and grounds teams to replant and refurbish that entire space. One of our great commitments to keeping children safe is the policies that underpin all that we do at the school. And as a result of that, you'll notice on the website that we've got more of our policies that are publicly available for you to see. Just go to the tab with policies on it and you'll be able to access those easily. I hope also that you felt more informed as a result of being able to access the school's new reporting system. The things we were hoping to achieve were really timely feedback, candid feedback. You were telling us to use plain language that described in really straightforward terms how your child is progressing and what they should do next. And as a result of that, you'll also see next steps included in that reporting system. Rather than waiting until the end of the semester and giving you information then, you get those reports throughout the semester after every assessment and piece of work in the middle and senior schools. There was great excitement also in the SEED and the junior school with the opening of their combined art exhibition. The great thing about each of these artworks is they're connected to one of the units of inquiry. This one here, for example, is connected to the Year 4 unit, How the World Works. And the artworks represent students' understanding of cellular structure. Our junior school students have also recently performed in Wakakiri, the theatrical dance presentation for junior school students and we look forward to hearing of their results, but they've already been recognised with three significant awards for their performance. I just wanted to share two snapshots though of the school surveys, one from the parent survey and one from the students. The first is the Net Promoter Score, which seemed to indicate your wonderful support for our school and express my gratitude to you for that. And secondly, to our students who show the attributes that we would want in them. Firstly, gratitude for the opportunity to attend the school, and secondly, an embrace of all the offerings that are available at Ballarat Grammar. I'm in the Seddon Room, or the Year 12 Common Room, with some of our Year 12 students working hard, some of whom are mentoring our new batch of Year 9 middle school leaders, who were recently inducted and will lead the middle school for second semester. We're looking forward to our Year 10s returning in this shivering cold weather from Alpine Camp and others of our Year 10s are out on work experience this week, which we hear provides terrific insight for them into their potential vocations and careers. Wishing you and your families a terrific and positive Term 3 ahead. <laughs>